Trailer Park fans, it's Jolene Sugarbiker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen, and welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, Trailer Park Christmas 2012. Yes, that's right, I've been doing a video every day, and I'm going to be doing that till the 25th, and I've got a calendar at TrailerParkChristmas.com, and everyone's been following along with it, and I see all this week we did the hot dog soup, that's great on a cold winter's night, and the frosty frozen pie, that was so inventive with the actual um, jelly cranberry sauce. This is so great for the holidays. And that surprising cheddar cheese chocolate fudge. You know, that will definitely surprise your friends. You could just go, surprise, this is actually made with cheddar cheese. But I see today it's a craft day and people love crafts from the trailer park. And you know, it's so expensive to buy gifts these days, and you know, I saw people on TV on Black Friday beating people's heads in for, you know, cell phones, and I thought every three-year-old had a cell phone by now. I don't know why people were doing that. But by now, you probably put up your Christmas tree, and you know, some people need some ornaments, and this makes a great gift because everything from the home is just a, a better gift. You can make it, and they'll be so pleased because Today's ornaments are actually, they look like cookies, and that you don't want to eat them, but they're made out of cinnamon, glue, and applesauce. It's my cinnamon holiday ornaments next up on the Trailer Park Christmas 2012 series here on YouTube. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Making my cinnamon holiday ornaments is so simple for the holidays, and it really helps your budget because they make great gifts. Well, for people that don't have children or pets that don't understand, don't eat this because even though that these are pretty much non-toxic, you don't want any surprising medical bills from someone scarfing down the ornament on your tree on a holiday night. But I've got a bowl here, and what we're going to do is just a plastic one that I could throw away if I mess it up. But I've got a half cup of cinnamon, and don't get afraid because... You know, you can find cinnamon at the dollar store. It only took about one or two of these. So I have that, and I'm going to pour that into the bowl just like that. I have a teaspoon of nutmeg, and that goes right on into the bowl just like that. And that adds to, to the holiday scent part. And I have a teaspoon of whole cloves that are uh, ground, actually. And those go right on into the mixture just like that. And now we need a teaspoon of school white glue and uh, make sure it's non-toxic just in case and there we go puts that teaspoon of that in there and then you need a cup of unsweetened applesauce and that goes right on into the bowl just like that and we're gonna stir this around this is actually gonna make a dough to make our ornaments so I'll check back with you in just a moment once I get this mixed up There we go. We have our dough to make our ornaments with, and wow, I can tell you it smells very holiday-ish because it just smells like cinnamon and nutmeg, and these will make great room fresheners too. But what we're going to do is we're going to spread this out till it's one-fourth inch thick, and we're going to actually roll it out, and then we're going to use our favorite cookie cutters to cut our favorite shapes out, and that's what shape your ornament's going to be in. So I'll check back with you in just a moment. There we go. We pushed out the dough to one fourth inch thickness using a rolling pin. And what we're going to do is I've got a little cute Christmas tree ornament kind of um, looking cookie cutter. And I'm just going to place that down into the dough mixture just like that. And just like any other cookie, you kind of have to move it around just a little bit to get to it. There we go. And there's our cookie there. 
and you can slide something underneath there to get that cookie. There we go. And now we're going to put this on a wire rack. And this is actually going to be on the wire rack for about, I, I don't know, four to five days drying out on the rack before you can do anything with it. And um, it's just going to be on the rack drying. And um, that actually is going to dry out uh, if you flip it a couple of times. Um, and you got to flip it a couple of times with that. And then you're just going to keep going with your dough mixture and just work with it like it's a cookie uh, batter. And there we go. Just going to move around and we're going to roll that back up and just push it on out again. And there's our other ornament. Now to get the hole in it to put the actual, um, actual uh, hanger, if you will, you're going to take a straw and just poke in there and look how that took that right out there. And then you're just going to move this on over to the wire rack and remember to turn these every few days until they dry out. So I'm going to get the rest of them made and I'll check back with you in just a moment. And there you have it, my cinnamon holiday ornament craft. And I started some earlier in the week so that I would have one that was dried out. It takes a few days to dry out, out on a, a pan or some racks. But I tied a pretty ribbon on it and these would look so pretty as a gift with some tissue paper in a box or something like that because homemade gifts are just the way to go. It saves your budget and they're just so much better too. And Wow, this one smells really good. This is not for eating. This is for decoration and hanging on your tree and making your trailer smell pretty because it smells like cinnamon and the holidays and cloves and it's just a great little project that you can do with your friends and family. You can even paint them up and make them look even more prettier. But I just tied a ribbon on mine and it's ready for the Trailer Park Christmas tree. Speaking of the holidays, I've got a video every day until December 25th right here on my YouTube channel, so be sure to subscribe. I've got a calendar at TrailerParkChristmas.com. You can follow along and you can see tomorrow I'll be back again with a shout out. We'll be talking about holiday questions and about what people eat for the holidays. And then on Saturday I see that we're going to revisit the dryer sheet wreath. I'm going to show you how to make a wreath out of dryer sheets. It's it's great, it smells good, and it's useful too. Anyway, this is Trailer Park Christmas and it's 2012. I'm so excited to spend the holidays with you. Follow me on Twitter. I'm Jolene's Trailer there. Add me on Google Plus. I'm there too. And I'll be back tomorrow with another video. Merry Trailer Park Christmas. I love you. Bye bye. Slap on all your blue eye shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with bye. pride. Spend the holidays the trailer park away.